If you have time, Google this article. It's from the New York Times. It's called A Side Business as a Way to Gain Financial Security. Nobody has security anymore, right? You're being laid off even for, if you have a government job. So no job is secure. So having a a side business, something like that, is a way to get financial security. And this woman really tells you about how easy she did it. Actually, what she was doing, she's a writer. So she, she found this website called SD, maybe some of you know it, <laughs> ESTY.com. They do a billion dollars worth of business. And anybody can go on there and, and show their goods and services, crafts. There's a lot of hand crafts on there. But what she wanted to do was an information product, a book, actually a, a financial planning book <laughs> yeah, which costs nothing to make it just takes time to do it and she so she signed up on there spent some time developing the book so she had to do that and actually she hired a freelance designer for a hundred bucks so that was her cost a hundred dollars to design uh, to hire a designer for her books and actually she had some hard co copies printed <laughs> but nobody bought them so she and she spent about three hundred dollars doing that so she didn't have to do that because people just downloaded loaded the PDF files. So it would have cost her only a hundred dollars and on this site what they do is they charge you like oh I think it's 20 cents for every product you put on and then they take 3.5 percent commission <laughs> a percentage of your sales. And it took her a while to figure it out maybe for a few weeks or months or whatever it is but she finally got it up to you know uh, I think it was like two hundred dollars was the first level. Two hundred dollars a month so that was extra money free no other expenses after after she paid the hundred bucks or whatever and then she got up to five thousand dollars and then you know it didn't happen by itself she had to go out on the internet and find people and tell them about the source but it cost her no money you know, and so she still has a full-time job. She's making an extra five thousand dollars a year doing this. She doesn't have to buy somebody's package or something on how to do things because when you do that, they're making all the money. You're not making all the money. If you go out and do something like this, an SD or some kind of a private, uh, you know, where you're selling your own goods and services that you make up. That's the way to make extra money. Buying somebody else's business, man, all you're doing is making some money for somebody else and they usually charge you for it. So that means it's it's not real easy. So you might as well struggle on something you know first uh, or something that you want to do. Like here, there's some other people she talks about in here. Uh, like a lady who who designs or actually this guy oh who is this oh she handles marketing by day for a skydiving center so she works in a skydiving center she gets very little money but on the side what she does is help 20 somethings with their job resume so that's an extra income she makes all free no expenses you know just, just extra income or here's a guy in washington dc who was working for his dad deli and he was designing cakes on the side and his dad went on a business <laughs> so at 40 years old he started cake designing business and all of a sudden making thirty three thousand dollars a week cake designing you know just out of his home or whatever i mean this is <laughs> it's so easy to start part-time businesses you know uh, while you're doing full-time as having income security so that's all about how do you get income security keep your full-time jobs start something <laughs> small time on the side there's ways like this to do it in a good way find this article again a side business as a way to gain financial security and just google that you'll see it's from the new york times give you all the details yeah <laughs> there's a lot of ways to make money out of there